National Football League picks, week 14. Um, got my new Bengals hat on, because quite frankly, it's colder than fuck here where I'm at. Um, we're look, looking at probably 15 below zero Friday night. So I'll show you the snow once we're done here. But football picks, week 14. Um, hopefully everybody had a good Thanksgiving. But I'll give you some picks right now. Thursday night, who cares about this game? Houston on the road giving three to Jacksonville. I gotta tell you something right now. I think Houston's worse than Jacksonville. I mean, not just because of the record, but I've seen that team play, and I'll tell you something. Even though they played the Patriots tough last week, I'm taking the Jaguars. I don't know why, just who again, who cares? Take the Jaguars. Cincinnati getting five and a half at home against the Indianapolis Colts. You know, it's time for people to realize that the Cincinnati Bengals could easily be a 12-0 or 11-1 team right now. The reason we are not, if you look at our games we've lost, the Ravens by three points, the Dolphins by two points, the Bears by three points, the only team that really decisively beat us was the Browns this year. And that was a winnable game too up until our defense just got so damn tired. Andy Dalton is the sole reason why we will not end up probably going to a Super Bowl. Our defense is good enough to go to a Super Bowl easily. But our offense, I won't even say our offense, it's our running back and our quarterback. You know, all these guys want to come on here and defend, defend Andy Dalton to me. You know, who else is there to blame? The defense don't suck. The wide receivers don't suck. First off, Andy Dalton can't go a fucking game without throwing in one or two interceptions, number one. So, no, Andy Dalton sucks, for real. If we want any chance, we're young enough on defense, if we want any chance to go to a big game, it, it's not going to happen with Andy Dalton. I mean, it, there's no way. But that being said, uh, Cincinnati's getting five and a half, I'd like the Colts to cover. But I think our defense, I know Andrew Luck's been struggling the last couple weeks. And uh, so I like the Bengals' defense to put pressure on him. Uh, so I like the Bengals to win the game, but I like the Colts with the points. I think the Bengals do just enough defensively to win the game. Uh, New England getting 11 and a half at home against Cleveland. Um, Patriots didn't look too good last week. They put up a lot of points, but yet again, they gave up a lot of points. Um, I like the Patriots to win this game, but I like the Browns with the points because, let's face the facts, the Browns got a hell of a defense. So, take the Patriots to win, but take the Browns with the points. New York Jets giving three to Oakland. Uh, who cares? Take Oakland. I can't pick the Jets no more. I mean, the Jets got their asses handed to them by the Dolphins at home, so what's that tell you? Take uh, Oakland. Kansas City getting three and a half at Washington. You know, I told you this could be the decline of the Chiefs. It wouldn't surprise me if they finished 10 6 and got bounced the first round or even possibly missed the playoffs the way the AFC is shaping out right now. Um, I don't believe in the Chiefs right now. I told you when they were 9 0, I didn't believe that they were that good as their record. You know, they got swept by the Broncos. I believe the Chiefs, if they do get to the playoffs, they're going to get bounced or get humiliated. I think the Chiefs are a good team. I just think they're falling on some hard times right now. And I, I just don't believe in them as a team right now. However, they're playing Washington out. I'm taking the Chiefs in this game, believe me, because the media absolutely makes me hate RG3. But, uh, look, RG3 as a person, he seems like a fine, nice guy. But I just don't think he's cut out to be an NFL quarterback. Now, granted, he's got one of the worst defenses in the league backing him up. Then he's getting no pressure on the O-line, so he's getting sacked every other play. So, but either way, take the Chiefs. The Chiefs need to win here. They've lost three in a row. They can't afford to lose another one. Take the Chiefs. Baltimore at home giving seven to Minnesota. You know, I actually should be rooting for Minnesota in this game because uh, since uh, Baltimore is the only one behind us right now, um, but I'm taking the Ravens because I just think the Ravens, since do or die, they need to win this game. They know they need to win this game, so take the Ravens to win. Plus, I don't think Minnesota's that good enough to fucking beat the Ravens on the road, so take uh, the Ravens uh, with seven points to win. Green Bay getting three and a half against uh, the Atlanta Falcons. Well, you see it yourself when a quarterback makes a difference in the team. Without Aaron Rodgers, the Packers are absolutely useless. If Aaron Rodgers is playing, I'll take the Packers. But if uh, he's not playing, the Packers don't got a prayer in this game. Take a, so, well, the side there, I did take the Packers. I'm assuming Aaron Rodgers might be coming back. Maybe not. I don't know. I didn't, another game I didn't care about. Here's another game who cares. Tampa Bay at home giving two and a half to the Buffalo Bills. I ain't even really who cares. Take the Buccaneers. The uh, Buccaneers playing surprisingly really good football last few games. Let's take the Buccaneers. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Mike Tomlin. 
How many guys are you going to try to trick this week? I'm sure you might try again. <laughs> you guys need to look that up, seriously. That was stupid as hell. It was so stupid, it was funny. Fucking... <laughs> Fucking joke. Uh, Pittsburgh at home giving three to the Miami Dolphins. You know, even with that being said, I think Miami is a must win, but I just think Pittsburgh's got to beat this team. I think Ben Roethlisberger will play good enough. I think the Steeler defense will do just enough. But I like the Steelers and basically end Miami's chances plans or chances at a playoff spot. Take the Steelers. Uh, Philadelphia at home giving two and a half to the Detroit Lions. Good game right here. Um, I like the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm sorry. I like Nick Foles. That, that Nick Foles, he's not bad at all. I mean, he's doing really good. Um, I don't know if he'll be the future, the future, but we all know he's better than Michael Vick. Uh, so take out the Eagles at home. Detroit Lions, I'm sorry. You got lucky to be at a Green Bay Packers team last week without Aaron Rodgers. I think Detroit's going to fight hard, but take out the Eagles at home. If Detroit was home, I'd take Detroit. But since the Eagles are at home, take the Eagles. Denver at, at home giving 12.5 to the Tennessee Titans. Uh, this Denver win this game 45 to, 45 to 10. I mean, Titans are done. Take the Broncos. Uh... Arizona at home getting six and a half to St. Louis. This is my upset right here. I like the Rams in this game. Rams, I think, will go in there and beat this team. I, for some reason, I just have a feeling the Rams, I know the Cardinals came off a tough loss last week at Philadelphia, a hard-fought loss, but um, for some reason, I just like St. Louis right now. St. Louis has a tendency to surprise people when they're not counting on it. So take uh, the uh, Rams. San Francisco, now, I question this. I know this is a rivalry game. San Francisco is at home, and they're favored by two and a half points. Now, that I don't understand. Seattle absolutely destroyed New Orleans last week on national television. I think Seattle on the road, I think Seattle could go far, but if Seattle's got to go on the road, I think they're in trouble. But if Seattle stays at home and they get home field advantage, I think they'll make it to the Super Bowl. But <clears throat> San Francisco getting two and a half. San Francisco's had a hell of a time in Seattle the last couple of times. I think, the, I think the last two times they've gotten routed bad. Um, I like San Francisco keep this game probably within seven, but I like the Seahawks to win the game outright. I just think Seattle right now is just a team that you don't want to tangle with. So take the Seahawks. Uh, San Diego at home giving three and a half to the Giants. Uh, no, yeah, who cares? Who cares about half these fucking games on the schedule, really? Uh, take the Giants. Giants playing good. Giants really should have won last week, so take the Giants. Uh... Sunday night, the game of the week right here, a pick'em game. Carolina, New Orleans, at New Orleans, both 9-3, a fight for a division lead. This is the game Carolina needs to make a statement right now. They On the road in New Orleans against their probably their top rivalry, they need to go in there and beat this team. And I'm sorry, after the Saints took an ass beating, I don't think they'll recover. I mean, I know the Saints are at home, they're going to be pissed, but Carolina better bring their A-plus game if they want a chance to beat the Saints in New Orleans. Take uh, Carolina, though. I'm taking another upset special. I like Carolina. Or even though it really shouldn't be an upset, but it kind of is. And finally, the Monday night game, Chicago at home giving one and a half to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I, I like the Cowboys here. Um, Cowboys need to win this game. I think they will. I know Josh McCown's a hell of a good quarterback. I don't know if Jay Cutler's back. Well, I don't know why you put Jay Cutler back in. I mean, McCown's proven he can be a starting quarterback. I mean, obviously. Take uh, the Cowboys to win this game. There's your Week 14 picks, and before I go... I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. There's the concrete, obviously. And that's how tall the drift is. And it's blowing real bad out there. You can't. The camera really doesn't pick it up. The snow's blowing really good. So we'll see you guys next week.